welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you how I achieve this down so if you are interested in videos based around how to live life at an affordable price then just keep watching all right guys so it is vlogmas I don't know what day we are we're not keeping count but we are pushing these videos out again vlogmas is running from December the 1st through December the 12th so if you are not subscribed to my channel why not Go ahead and press that subscribe button and press that notification bell so that you are notified every time I post a new video. Also, follow me all under Judy Tanya. You guys already know. All under the other platforms. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. So that you can get everyday updates and tidbits. And I actually have been really good about posting shorts on here. So, even if you don't follow me over there, which... I would hope that you would but you're not missing anything because I am posting things over here however on my Instagram stories I do post like little tidbits and coupons and ways that you can save money so make sure you are following me at least on Instagram so that you don't miss out on any of that stuff so let me go ahead and get right into this video everything I'm using is definitely affordable and this hairstyle is going to be so cute literally when you go to these parties they're gonna think that somebody did your hair and I don't know you did it yourself all you need is just a little time and a little patience and to watch this video all the way to the end so that you can make sure that you're getting all the details as far as how I uh, achieve this down I'm gonna show it again over here okay now I've already started with freshly washed hair um I don't use a blow dryer as you guys know I try to limit as much heat on my hair as possible so I've already kind of pre-stretched my hair while it was still wet I've been wearing it in these french braids now for about two or three days only because it takes a really long time for my hair to um dry so I've already stretched it um out and if you guys want to see a wash day let me know and I'll go ahead and get it try to get that up together for you guys so the supplies that you are going to need is a comb of course I use one that has like a comb and a brush attachment on it um you all are going to need flexi rods these are the size I don't know the number that I use but use whatever it is if you want to use bigger ones that's fine I'm using these um these cost me two dollars and ninety nine cent and um you get six in a pack and these are the three by eight inch so I have 24 flexi rods all together I am also going to be using I use the Nairobi um styling foam and as you guys can see at your local beauty supply it costs 13 dollars so this is a total of maybe 20 bucks i am going to part my hair into four sections i do kind of section it out it makes it a little bit easier to work with um i'm going to nine times out of ten work on the back and then i'm going to come back once I get to the front part but I do work from the back up to the front so I end up changing direction in the back because I want a little bit more of a tapered look so I did um, perm rods in the back so I'm gonna show you guys the back so that is what the back is looking like hopefully I was able to you guys were able to see it so in the front now what I'm going to do and I used 12 perm I mean not 12 perm rods I used 12 of the flexi rods in the back and let's see one two three four perm rods all the way at the bottom of the back all right so for the sides because I want a lot of my volume in the top so on the sides I am going to go in with perm rods I think I'm gonna go with these bigger ones all right so you just want to make sure that you comb it out all the way make sure all your hair is combed out all of the way and then what I do is I go in with about let me shake it up Ooh, what am I doing shake it back up and I go in with about that much product not much it doesn't take much of this here so I go in and I try not to do the roots because I want for my hair to be big so not going all the way up to the roots and leaving a little bit more of a more thicker texture at the top is going to give you really a lot of the volume that you need now the key is making sure 
that your ends are smooth all the way out all the way out go in with your perm rod and I usually like the ones people say don't get the ones with the teeth on it I do I like the ones with the teeth on it because then I kind of slide it down pull it out slide it down and that smooths it out a whole lot more and then simple just roll it right on up and don't roll it all the way up to your roots because that can whew, clip it in and that's it now in this time like if you want a part like a sad part want everything to come over to the side or you just want a part here or everything to the middle like I like all my hair coming up and then like like this so I put two on the side and then I have everything else kind of coming towards the front all right now up here is where we're going to apply the perm rod I mean not the perm rods the flexi rods Take it and comb it out. Be very, very gentle. Take some of your setting lotion. How much? Make sure you rub it all in. All right. And you guys will see that later. So I take my hair and my flexi rod wrap it around and then once I anchor it I pull it down make sure that end is nice and slick on your flexi rod and then you just work your way up take the top bend it down take the bottom fold it up all right guys so i am back i'm done so as you guys can see this part i want all of my volume really not all of it i want a lot of volume in the front towards the top so i have four here three here no four here four here and four in the back so that is how i did everything i did two prime rods on the side so it's going to be basically a little bit more less about volume on the sides that's what i'm hoping for and imagine y'all i've been natural now for well over 10 years okay i've cut my hair i've colored it i cut it off started over all kinds of stuff i've been doing this for a long time only thing is sometimes it start turn out the way i want for it to and sometimes it doesn't it depends now these should be dry in the morning because again the less product you use of course it's easier for it to dry right but the back of my hair is a totally different texture so it's thicker in the back sometimes it's dry sometimes it's not so nighttime this is what we do i have the grace I guess slap cap look thing but it is lined with silk silk lined so I put this on my head and it's all out of shape my husband bought this hair falling from anyways my husband bought this for me some years ago look at this look at that I put this on at night and then I just take my turban this here and I put it on top of it just to keep it in place cover everything up everything is covered and this is how I sleep at night is it hot under here yes how does it all right guys so I have started um taking down my hair already as you guys can see um I took down a lot of the back well all of the back for the most part I've taken down all of the back and I wanted to come back when I made it around to the front well, that look pretty so basically what I do is um, I separate as I take these out so take them out and then I twist it around my finger one big curl so you guys see is one big clump so I've come back um, I've taken down one of the perm rods I have my homemade oil again um, if you guys want to want a tutorial on how I make my hair oil let me know and I'll post the tutorial. So I take this and the bigger that I want my hair, the smaller or the more I separate it. So I like big hair and I know the curls don't last that long. The, once you, the more you separate it, the curls really don't last as long. They don't. 
but these curls are soft they're very soft that's the reason why I like them to roll me. and then when you take them out or when you separate them you're going to separate it and roll it twirl it around your finger in the direction of that curl so in the direction of that curl so as you guys can see this here is the curl so so you just want to twirl it around your finger and you guys see how big that curl is take some oil put it onto your fingers take the curl and just begin separating so I usually get about a good maybe four or five smaller curls or spirals from this big one that's too big from that one big one I get about four or five spirals from out of that now we have them all down all right so we are now going to take our pick and we just kind of pick at the roots to fluff it up and again you don't you want to hold the curl at the bottom so that you don't manipulate and or disturb the curl and y'all see how we getting a little bit of height and then of course as the days go on and everything um you're going to get more height and more because your roots are going to start swelling and remember all curls are different so literally every curl is going to look like something different every curl I've showed you guys how to separate the curls so that you don't manipulate yet again when you're picking your curls hold the ends and just manipulate the roots that's what's going to give you your volume pick them up and manipulate the roots that's what's going to give you your volume okay so I will be back tomorrow once I'm all dialed up and put together and I will show you all the finished look okay so again this here is just something cute once you have your, your curls in then you basically like I said you can style it however it is that you would like to style it so